Hi guys. Okay, so we are rolling with this terrible lighting. I am so sorry about that, but um, it is what it is. I'm just trying to get a couple of videos recorded right now, and this is kind of what we are working with right now. So I'm going to go over some items that I got at the Sephora VIB sale. It just ended yesterday. Thank goodness so that I don't um, buy any more products right now. I did get some stuff that maybe I didn't need and some some kind of necessity type stuff. So I'm going to go over this kind of in no particular order. There is um, some stuff that I purchased in store just yesterday. So I'm going to go over that first. The first item in there was the Shiseido Facial Cotton Pads. Um, I have heard about these and I'm never, I was never really particular about the cotton rounds or anything that I used on my eyes, but lately I felt that they were kind of tugging at my eyes a lot more than they used to. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, getting a little bit more wrinkles, and maybe some creepiness kind of setting in, but the package of this feels super soft, and I have heard nothing but good things about these, so I am planning on just using those and seeing how they're going after I finish up the rounds that I'm using now. That was a long explanation for why I bought those cotton rounds <laughs> or those cotton pads. The next item that I got is a Nest Indigo um, on the go set. And you guys, I smelt this in Sephora. It smells so stinking good. I'm wearing it right now. It is just, I'm trying to see what notes are in it. It's um, Moroccan tea, cashmere wood, and black cardamom. Um, with hints of wild fig, praline, and bergamot. If you have not smelt this, please go in and ask for a sample. Sephora will give you free samples of any perfume that you want to try in a little um, atomizer, like a little spray bottle. But I tried this. I actually got a sample and then I saw this when I was walking out. Like, you know how they have those on-the-go little impulse items right up front um, and this is a little spray and a little roller ball I'm so sorry about that glare a roller ball of the perfume on a keychain as well and I think that was like $22 and the last item that I got yesterday was the Huda Beauty Mauve Obsessions palette this was kind of one of those things I had asked about it because I was planning on going and swatching it and when the lady showed it to me, there was only this one left. And there was another lady, like, right behind me wanting to look at it. So I instinctively, like, grabbed it. And then I felt guilty and didn't want to put it back. But I'm glad I didn't put it back because I really like it. I'm using it today. And it has a nice magnetic closure and a mirror. I'm not going to bore you too much with that. But these are the colors. They are just, like, these little ready tones is so nice and this palette seems like it's going to be great to travel with i am going out of town for christmas this year so that'll be nice a couple other things that i got <clears throat> some of these were placed online and some orders or some purchases were in store so when i ordered online um one thing that i got is this little tray as like a i think it was like a 250 point um like perk or whatever so you know how you can pick your little rewards and it's just a little black and white tray that says wake up to makeup and i thought that was so cute i'm planning on either using this um in one of my bathrooms upstairs so you know when i go to do my makeup or something i could take my wedding ring off and not have to worry about just setting it on the counter or i might even keep it like near the kitchen or do something like that i don't know maybe not the kitchen but anyway when I placed an order online as well I did renew my VIB Rouge membership which just means that I spend a little bit too much at Sephora every year I don't know this is later than I've made Rouge in the past so this was a gift it's just a little um, foundation brush in a mini size so that'll be good to travel with as well I don't know if I'll make rouge next year, you know, I, I'm i trying to only buy stuff that I need, but I did do some impulse buying as well 
this trip. So next year, I think I really want to focus on project panning again and just kind of being more mindful of my purchases and what I'm using. So with that being said, this is one thing that I use over and over again. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Dim Infusion. I do use this as an overall face powder and I have one, but the that's what it looks like. I have one currently that I'm using and it is like almost done. There's only product in like the four corners. The whole middle is gone. So I'm proud of myself for using that. But um, yeah, so that is kind of what I consider a repurchase over and over again. This next item was um, on clearance. I went into the Sephora inside JCPenney near me and they had this little um, exclusive pack to them. It's an on the go, on the fly uh, travel bag. And the reason I got this is because it was 50% off. It normally was 32 and I got it for like $16 or something. Um, and it has some products that I do use, like these Ola Hendrickson wipes. That pack alone is like $8. And a little sample of the Bum Bum Cream, um, a bronzer, a shampoo and conditioner. I thought this was such a great deal. And I was able to use the 20% off on it as well. So I don't remember what it ended up being, but it was super cheap. And so I thought that was a good value and it was items that I would use. So I was happy to have snagged. Um, it was the last one that they had in store. So I was excited about that. And the last item that I got was an item that I was going to ask for for Christmas, but I ended up worrying that it would be sold out by the time you know Christmas rolled around and my husband got to purchasing his gifts for me and that is the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette so I went into the Sephora inside JCPenney and they had sold out of it but um, they still had it online so I figured I should get it while I had the 20% off this is what the outside looks like and you open it up and there is mirrors on either side, and that is the inside, all of the colors. Now, these are very, they seem very intense at first, but they are actually really wearable colors to me. I just nicked that eyeshadow, oh my gosh. I hate when that happens. My nails are way too long, I need to give myself a manicure, but anyway. Um, it's a beautiful palette. Hopefully, I didn't just ruin that shadow. Look at that pigmentation just from nicking it. That's crazy, right? So anyway, I guess I can, well, I can't swatch it. I didn't get a really good. Anyway, it was all over my finger. It's probably all over the palette. Oh, what a fail. <laughs> anyway, that's everything I got from the uh, VIB sale this year. I don't think I did too bad. I did get a couple things that maybe were a little unnecessary, but overall I am happy with everything I got and I'm excited to try them all. Let me know what you got or if you have a video showing what you purchased, I would love to watch it. So just let me know your um, you know, channel name or anything like that down below. Otherwise, I will see you next time, guys. Have a great day. Bye.